There is a rich history behind the iconic Walters clothing store in downtown Atlanta. It has been open since 1952 and pioneered the Atlanta sneaker culture. The store recently went through a big change, losing a piece of its history. Naima Abdullahi has the story in this week's ATL culture. Walters, a name to remember. See, this is a landmark right here. Yeah. This is the real ATL right here. And Estelle, the name of Walter's soulmate. The Walter and Estelle are the goats of life. As in the greatest of all time, this couple is behind the Atlanta sneaker culture, immortalized in so many hip hop songs. I like them hot red be like straight from Walters. Some in Walters every week. We just walked in the Walters. What? Patrick Morrison started working here when he was in high school and never left. Yeah, they, they was great. They were like second parents to me. He says these doors first opened for business in the 50s during segregation. Well, one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin. He didn't discriminate against people. He made them feel welcome. He made them feel home. When Walter Strauss opened this door, it became a space of refuge. People could walk through this front door during Jim Crow South and were treated with respect. Gave you a sense of not being afraid to go into places and not having to use the back door. You see, before the store opened, Walter came to Atlanta seeking the same refuge after escaping Nazi Germany. African-American community has so much respect for Walter and his death. Walter passed away last year at 94 years old. Everybody got to go one day, you don't know when. Estelle had to learn how to live on. A heart was broken. And just last week, Estelle finally reunited with Walter. You marry and you become one, and that's how they were. For more than 60 years, the store remained the same while the world around it changed. It's not too many businesses that started in 1952 and still open. A landmark that represents the city's culture. I got my first pair of Chuck Tell All Stars right here. I think that was 1958. I've been coming here ever since. Walters a name to remember, and Estelle, a name that's a big part of that legacy.